Hi there. This is Jake from the Chasing Quality Podcast. Thanks for joining me today. I want to talk to you uh, somewhat quickly, probably not quickly, you know how long I go. I'm going to talk to you about the Eiler, I think that's how you pronounce it, the Eiler uh, hard case, uh, waterproof carrying case, uh, it's similar to a, a, a Pelican case. I think Pelican's kind of turned into a a, a Xerox-like term where everybody kind of refers to all of these cases as a Pelican case. Uh, this is a pretty great case that I got um, on uh, Amazon for $79, I think, very large, uh, and I use it for carrying my portable audio equipment. Uh, it's ideal uh, for that purpose, and um, I think the equivalent Pelican case probably would have cost about $180, $170, so I think it was a really great deal what I got. Um, so let's go ahead and open this thing up and check it out, and I'll show you uh, what I'm using it for. Okay, so it's, uh, it, is a, it is somewhat heavy. Uh, it starts off heavy, and of course, once you have gear in there, it's a little bit heavier. Uh, but it's got, it's, it's supposed to be waterproof. I haven't tried it out, but it's supposed to be waterproof. It's got four latches, sides, and front. It does have uh, spots for locks here if you want to lock it up. Uh, there you go. So let's open it up, and um, it's got foam at the top. Uh, that foam, one thing I don't like is that the foam is just kind of loose. It just kind of falls out. Um, it's okay, uh, but it's a little bit annoying when I'm trying to put stuff in there. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out and put it to the side because uh, it's just going to get in our way. So let's lift this thing up now. So I can show you what I've got in here. Okay. So in here, uh, first this is my H4N instruction book. I'm not very good at that, uh, my Zoom H4N yet. So I keep the instruction book handy. Um, but I'm able to fit... This is pretty deep too. It, 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 it's, it's got, um, I don't know, I'd say it's probably about five or six inches deep. I don't have the specs with me handy, but it's pretty deep. And so it fits, um, it fits all of my audio gear uh, that I would need to record two tracks uh, with quality microphones uh, into my portable recorder. And that also includes two desktop stands. I've got one desktop stand out right now. It's not in here, but let's see. I take out my desktop stand there. And uh, with that, I've got the clamps. There's a clamp there. Uh, and then there's a clamp, uh, clamp here for my other one that's not in there. I carry two XLR cables. These are each 20 feet in length. So these are pretty long cables uh, that fit nice and comfortable there. I've got two SM58s, Sure SM58s here and here. And then I've got <clears throat> my Zoom H4N recorder, which is right there. In here, I've got the, uh, I've got batteries. I've got uh, a USB cable for it. I've got the a couple extension cables. I've got a splitter, and I've got the AC adapter for the Zoom H4n. Uh, all of those fit in there nice, nice and neatly. Um, you will notice. Um, I guess you can probably see this. You'll notice that because I've got this kind of sitting up here, uh, these, this is kind of sagging down a little bit. Um, but normally you're, that's not going to be an issue as so long as you've got everything fitting in there tightly. Um, let me take, take, I'm going to take this top, this top part out. Um, this is going to kind of mess it up a little bit. So I'll take out my, my two microphones here and I'm going to take out this second layer. What's great. Oh, before I get away with myself, these, um, these cases, and you can get various, uh, brands, you know, if you get the Pelican brand, you know, you're, you're getting the, the high end. Uh, real deal, but you're going to spend a lot of money. But these are all little, I think they're about inch by inch, or maybe centimeter by centimeter squares. You can just kind of pluck them out and, and you pluck it out to, to, to fit the shape of whatever you're fitting into there. Really great uh, for getting things fitting tight. So once I take that out, let me take out these batteries too, because those are going to fall. Once I take that out, what you can see down here at the bottom is that I actually have underneath my desktop stands, I have created two more compartments for extra microphones. Just in case, God forbid, something should happen to these SM58s, which they, nothing's going to happen to them because they're, they're indestructible. Um, I've got uh, a Behringer uh, here and another SM58 with a switch here. Uh, so you're able to fit more down in here. I could have put them up here, but I actually have a spot. I've got this spot right here. Um, that I haven't quite decided what I'm going to put there yet. Uh, I could fit another, probably one more microphone, probably not two. I could probably fit one more microphone there. Um, but I can fit something else there and I've got the full depth here. So it's pretty cool how much I'm able to fit into there um, You know without much trouble now. This is not it's not a lightweight 
uh, case by any means, but that's not what it's meant to be. It's meant to be uh, water, you know, um, waterproof, a waterproof carrying case for expensive gear. And this, it's not so much that this gear is expensive. This isn't necessarily high end. This is, you know, all all said and one all said and done, we're talking maybe four hundred dollars, five hundred dollars worth of equipment. Uh, so I mean, it, it's expensive, but not you know professional grade equipment. Um, but what I like is that it keeps everything handy. Okay, I don't. I'm not going to use this at home. I'm going to use this when I'm going somewhere to record. If I'm going to go outside, if I'm going to a different location, uh, if I'm going to take this over and try to record the RJ somewhere else, uh, I can fit everything in here and have it ready to go. This fits down in there. And have it ready to go. And, uh, you know, um, just grab the case, throw it in the trunk of my car, and go. I'm not going to be carrying this with me on hikes into the woods. Uh, I'm not going to be taking this anywhere where I worry about the weight being an issue. Uh, I just want everything to be together as a full kit for audio and be somewhat protected as I walk about. So uh, I don't know how long this case will last. Uh, I don't know how good of a company Eiler is, uh, but it seems like it's very sturdy. It seems like it's very well built and it seems like it will stand up to the, for, you know, um, stand up to the test of time for me and my purposes, which is, you know, as amateur, I'm a very, very much an amateur in all of this. Uh, professionals maybe want to spend a little bit more money, I don't know, for peace of mind, but I'm definitely happy with this purchase. $79, uh, not bad price at all to have a very nice, uh, secure carrying case for my gear. And, uh, you know, you just keep it out of the way. And now it's all together and ready to go at a moment's notice, you know, in case I get an emergency phone call. Hey, I need you to come over and, and record this audio. It's an emergency. So there you have it. The Eiler, um, I don't know what the lead, leaders uh, happen to be, the, the capacity, but it's it's large. It's, these, uh, it's about 19 inches wide by about 16 inches tall by uh, about seven or eight inches deep. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna figure out, you know, maybe lay out on a table all of those things that you want to put into one of these cases, measure it out, try some different configurations to make sure you're optimizing space, because these are pricey, they get very pricey very fast. Uh, and then, you know, measure it out and then go online and figure out what case is going to uh, facilitate uh, the gear that you need. Just keep in mind the depth. What I liked about this one is it was deeper, and because it's deeper, I've actually, I could, I could have stored the zoom uh, at, um, you know, on its edge, and that would have allowed me to kind of slip it in there, but I wanted to be able to protect all the cables behind, not really protect them, but I wanted to keep them secure behind it. So when I pull the zoom out, then I have access to all the cables that I would need for it. Uh, but yeah, this is, this fit me perfectly. And I really wanted to carry these desktop stands, uh, these little scissor stands that uh, mount to a desk. So if, I, if I'm recording somewhere, uh, I can easily mount them. Uh, and I've got everything that I need, honestly. Uh, the, the Zoom is battery powered, got the XLR cables. It's 100% portable, uh, very great. So there you have it, the Eiler waterproof case. If you got any comments, questions, or you know you just want to harass me a little bit that's cool go ahead and leave some comments below uh, i'd appreciate that if you haven't checked out our podcast yet please do chasing quality podcast on uh, stitcher spotify itunes all those major platforms you can find us uh, we'd love, love to have you along for that little journey of ours uh, where we talk about politics philosophy uh, various other topics and you know relationships and just figuring out life um i think that's all i got to say about that so until next time you keep chasing that quality because you know I will. Bye-bye.